Hello. It's Jose. Ripley. Juice. Whatever. Depends on how you know me. And I just wanted to give a quick review for this uh, Loving Star Boom microphone. Found it on Amazon. It's basically a V motor ripoff. Um, the full name or name on there is Loving Star Boom Microphone Volume Cable for Sennheiser Momentum. I think there's more, but that seemed to bring up the search. But I'll leave a link in the description. Anyways, I do want to note right away that I do have a slight EQ going on here, which is why I uh, wanted this shown, just so you can get an idea of how it should actually sound. Well, I'm going to turn it up raw shortly. But uh, the comparison I'm doing right now is to my NT-USB, which sounds like this. It's no question is much, much, much better. I love it, actually. I, with that slight boost in my uh, voice's bass, it just, everything sounds so full, so colorful. It's, it's amazing. But... These aren't the same product. Let's be honest. This is a 170, I think, retail uh, condenser microphone. This is meant for recording. It's, uh, it's, I think it's the highest quality you can get without actually going uh, analog. This is a USB version, at least one of them. I think it sounds better than the Blue Yeti, but that's besides the point. Um, let's switch back. Yeah, that's the uh, higher quality recording microphone, and this is of course just a wired mic you plug into any headphones with a 2.5 millimeter jack, which is hard to find actually. Um, it took me a while of Amazon, Google, running back and forth to try and find a headphone mic that would fit into this, because I didn't want the mod mic. Damn, it sounds really loud to me right now. I turn that down slightly. I didn't want the mod mic. It was a. Uh, it's a bit too expensive at sixty bucks for what it is, at least in my brain. You know, I'm not against spending more money on a product for better quality, and I'm sure that is. But you know, during YouTube tests and things I was listening to, I didn't think it sounded sixty dollars worth. And in addition to that, it's a lot messier. I didn't want a second cable running up to my headphones. I definitely didn't want to take my gorgeous, beautiful, I love these headphones, uh, Pink Floyd Edition HD1s and stick a magnet to it. I'm sure it wouldn't leave a stain, it wouldn't do any permanent damage, but these are Bluetooth. I take them everywhere. I don't need extra parts hanging off. But uh, yeah, so these things were 18 bucks on Amazon, this microphone, and I think it is plenty worth that. I. In fact, I thought about buying a second one because this one has a braided cable and it, that's a slight flaw I'm going to bring up. It does have a little bit of that uh, cable sound running through it. They have an orange and green option as well on Amazon page, although I think the green one was out of stock, but um, those are rubber and I was curious to whether or not that would uh, get rid of the sound noise or cable noise. And it, I would have no problem buying it a second time. I think it's plenty worth it. Having a spare to me is not a bad idea because this works so well. Again, not as well as this, but they're not the same product. This is for quality recording. This is for kicking back with friends. If you got an Xbox or controller or something like that, you could plug that right into it. Uh, PS4 would work the same, but I don't have any or either of those anymore. Now I just play on the PC or the Switch, and the Switch is notorious for uh, having a jank microphone set up anyways, so it's not like I could use it for that a ton. Alright, I kind of got off on a tangent, but uh, let's see, let me check my notes here. Alright, blah blah blah, oh yeah, uh, a flaw with this though, um, not a super big one, is that it's misaligned the locking mechanism here I'll show, I'll show it if you own a pair of the HD ones I think maybe the Bose do it too but I'm not positive I don't have a pair to try it on with these when you hardwire these headphones you're supposed to insert the the headphone jack 
the 2.5 meter millimeter one and then turn it and this one isn't lined up the way it probably should be for that use let me switch our microphones real quick and what I mean is uh, um, uh, actually yellow trouble monitoring without this plugged in this mechanism here if you can see this indent if you were to plug this into the headphones and then turn it the way it's meant to be the way it's meant to be locked it would actually be going underneath your chin or it would be getting pulled outward uh, just just simply inserting it puts it forward the way it should be but then you, it turns too easy because of that because it's meant to lock by turning and what I've done is a uh, kind of jank solution especially now looking at it it's starting to come loose um, I took a dab of uh, hot glue and then put it or put it where it would normally turn and what that does is just simply stop it from turning so when I insert it it doesn't move in any direction it stays forward and because it sticks out slightly, it actually gave it better grip, so there's less of a worry of it just falling out without me meaning to. But actually, yeah, there it goes. It's it's coming off. <laughs> I had to think of a better solution than that. I don't really want to super glue it or anything you know, too extreme. But uh, I think that's pretty much the wrap up. Slightly flawed, and with the lockingism being misaligned. Um, I think was there anything else I said that was wrong with it? Oh, cable rub, but that'll you'll get that with just about any product, especially one with the braided cable. And those are the only two. One more time, the uh, for a comp uh, one more comparison. This sounds perfectly fine if you're going to be kicking back on an Xbox or not recording gameplay just sitting back with friends which is usually what i do in uh most games start titanfall titanfall is the one that i like to record on because that's one of the few games i'm just like i'm solid at i know i ain't the best there's there's lots of guys better than me but you know i'm fairly up there in the food chain I'm, I'm confident in that one so that's one of the few games i record and for that obviously i use this guy this i'm not gonna call him the duke that's kind of a easy name right now since the xbox just released their old school controller <laughs> that's old trusty but uh I guess one last slight thing I'm going to turn off both the noise gate although there, there should be a slight noise gate still from the uh, interface I have it plugged in through and this this would just be the raw sound right here uh, this is without the uh, boost on the bass and no voice meter noise gate I'm sure there's a big difference. I, I enjoy that bass boost. Like I said, it fills up my voice. It just To me, it just kind of gives everything a bigger sound. And yeah, now I'm just going to start talking circus if I keep going. But yeah, go out and buy this microphone if you have the uh, HD1 headphones you want to use them for gaming. Because these headphones are incredible for everything, whether it be music or gaming. They got a decent sound stage. Everything is crystal clear. I've heard some critiques about them that I'm just going to ignore, you know, blah, blah, blah. I fucking love them. Oh, excuse me. Excuse my language. And, uh, this thing sounds solid. Again, I'm going to, I'm going to stop right now. I'm talking in circles. I'm, I'm talking in circles. I'm stopping.